Good morning, welcome to Family Hours TV. Here we are in sunny South Shields, Leisure Park. Um, so South Shields, it's on the coast in the northeast of England. Um, and this is the pleasure park here that we're actually in at the moment. And basically it's, it's a fun fair, let's be honest. Um, I love this place, it's a great day out. Um, you've got rides for the younger kids and you've also got rides for grown-ups. So we're just going to go and explore, take a look, see what's, uh, what's about. The way it works here is um, you don't pay for entry, it uh, pays your ride a fair. So basically uh, you, you get a card, top it up with credits, um, and then obviously each ride that you go on, you tap that card and credits get taken off the card. So we'll have a look at how much each ride costs, we'll look at the rides available, we'll look at the food, the drink, the amusements, and then we'll also pop across the road to um, one of the parks here, which is a um, lovely little park. It's got like a big, well, small lake where you can get boat rides, it's got a train that goes around it. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea of the things that you can do here at South Shield. So come with me, I'm gonna go take a look at South Shield Pleasure Park. Look at that. Wowza. Here we have break dance. Which looks like uh, sophisticated waltzes. Making me dizzy just looking at it. As with all seaside resorts and fairgrounds, plenty of food and drink available here at South Shields. Not overly priced compared to maybe your big theme parks. Obviously a little bit more expensive than your standard uh, food, but it's not as, as expensive as your big uh, attractions. Um, I won't name anyone, I won't name our shame, but if you go to a, a day entry theme park, it's not as expensive as that by any means. Um, over here we've got the Walters. Have a look, and we'll have a little film of this once it gets going. They have the waltzes, then just behind it, you we've got the um. The pirate ship. I remember one looked identical to this uh, Flamingo Land, probably about 30 years ago now. I wonder if this is it. If you do know if this is the Flamingo Land uh, pirate ship, then comment below. It does look uh, extremely similar. I mean, I know they all look quite the same, but this one uh, looks identical. Same colours, everything. I'm going to have to Google that when I stop recording this. Here we have the bumper cars. Beep, beep. So I think they're uh, the bumper cars four credits per car, so it's four pound per car. So really, it's like two pound a person if there's two of you. So that's not too bad, is it? Looks looks a lot of fun. We've got a few games kicking about here as well. Score the goals with these local teams here. If you're not from Teesside. These are the local teams, Borough, Hartlepool, South Shields, Newcastle, Sunderland and Darlow, Darlington. You've got your, your water blasters around South Shields. Just a typical seaside resort fun fair. Uh, you've got your hooker duck. Prize every time, right? Got a question for you, comment below. I mean, I have kids of my own. But hook a duck becomes pointless when every duck is a winner, I think, nowadays. And, uh, well, don't get me wrong, when I was a kid, I was disappointed that sometimes I never hooked a duck. 
But then when I won, the prize was generally a bit bigger. Comment below if you think Hook or Duck should always be winner prize. I don't think it should. But maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just a grump, grumpy person. I don't know. But um, comment below. What do you think? Hook or Duck prize every time. Uh, we've got another rider here. The Twister. This one. I'm not sure how many credits this one is. Uh, let's have a look. Two, two and a half, so two pound fifty for this ride. Don't think I need to explain what happens with this one. It's your standard uh, flat revolving ride. Lovely day here today. And then look, there's some more kids rides here. There's a little mini kids drop tower. Kids rockets there. Kids teacups, little kids train, and then a little kids carousel there. And keep walking. I will probably go on one of these rides and try and film it today. Um, we've got a typical swing ride here just ahead. I know this goes quite high, this because I remember my kids going on and having a heart attack. Let's have a look at this one. This is two pound a go, which I think is really good. It's not too bad, is it? It's getting high yet. How fun does that look? This is uh, this reminds me of the Frog Hopper at Luna Park in Scarborough. It looks actually less, I don't know, it looks, looks tamer than it actually is when you're actually on there. You actually get bounced about quite a bit. Good fun. Everything looks quite fresh as well here today. Obviously they've had a lot of downtime with COVID. And it's nice to see everything looks looks quite fresh. There's only a few rides that look a bit faded. But I love this one. The log flume here. £2.50 a go. Obviously, it's only a like uh, mini fairground so it's not not the biggest but I've been on this with my kids as well got moderately wet see there in the background the twister roller coaster Miami sir Rush test spinning roller coaster. So while they're uh, disembarking this, the people at the top, oh, the people at the top have just got to wait. What a view! Some more kids rides here. Swings, trampolines, fun house, mini ferris wheel. Uh, this area's changed as well actually. Uh, used to be um, like a little surf area here but we changed that to a, a game. And then you've got the crazy cottage fun here. Which I'm guessing is like an optical illusion house. And another spray park. Hello Skelter. 
We're on the zombie ride. Ready to go. Don't know what you'll be able to see. Probably not very much in here, to be honest. Ah, well, this has all been done up. Much better already. There you have the uh, the old ghost train, the new zombie ride. It was actually all right, wasn't it? I mean, it was two pound fifty. I'm not sure where if it was worth that. Say you went on with a family of four for a tenner, be expensive, that wouldn't it? But but the positives, it is much better than what was there before, and that's the main thing. Like ten times better. I think the uh, the old one was uh, really ran down, but that one obviously they revamped it with some. Uh, TV screens, updated it, give it a lick of pain, updated a few bits and bobs and um, it is a lot better but um, yeah it's not world class or anything is it so there you go there's the POV zombie here at South Shields. Um, I think we're done here for a little bit, uh, we're going to pop across to the park and we're going to have a look at the uh, the park here in South Shields and um, yeah, we'll, uh, we might pop back later and see if there's anything else to take a look at here, but right now we're going to head across to the park and take a look at that. So here we are, South Marine Park. How nice is this? Look at this lake. I think the water's been coloured to be honest with you, but it looks nice. Nice little cafe there on the edge. And then just before this video you will have seen the uh, the steam train, the miniature steam train that goes around the park. You see it in the distance over there, that goes around the park uh, every uh, like five, ten minutes or so. And I think it's like a pound or two passenger, so that's not bad is it? And then just behind me here, just behind those trees there you'll be able to see in the distance a uh, kids play area and then a nice green area for people to just play chill out and enjoy the sun how nice is this we'll have a little wander around I've done these boats they're very deceiving aren't they these boats they look, they look so easy to just uh, pedal but they're not the hard they should have uh, electric ones for lazy people like me It's just lovely this isn't it? How nice is this? Right so I hope you like that little time lapse there. I do like a good time lapse of the lake. Um, there's not much really more to show of the park, but it is a lovely park. You can just relax here for, you know, half an hour, an hour or so, and the kids can go in the play area. Uh, I would have filmed the play area, but obviously with with kids kicking about, um, obviously we can't do that. But it is a really good play area. Kids could probably uh, spend 
half an hour to an hour there probably depending on the rage so yeah great little park uh, gonna head back to the fairground now see if there's anything else that we uh, that I can shoot um, and then I'm probably gonna head back to the coach once again I do run coach trips from Teesside at Stockton, Middlesbrough, Hartlepool and Billingham check out our uh, website myfamilyoutings.co.uk family friendly coach travel from Teesside so there is also an adventure golf uh, course here I'll try and get you some views of it looks good I'm not sure of the price of this I'll go around the side and uh, see if I can get the price for you but well, looks a uh, good hour activity for the family yeah so they don't seem to have the price advertised outside but um, it can't be too much I wouldn't imagine another little uh, fun area here driving school that's pretty cool for the kids It's uh, three pound fifty, so that's that's not bad either. Probably get five ten minutes on that. We can keep going. We'll go have another little look inside. Right, so they had some videos of the amusements. I didn't really do any commentary because, uh, to be honest, there's too many people about and too many kids. So, where possible, I try and restrict uh, as much filming of obviously children uh, when we're doing these videos for obvious reasons. Parents asking questions, things like that. So, um, yeah, but you got a few images there of the um, of the amusements and you know what seaside resort. Uh, doesn't have amusements but there's plenty to do there loads of amusements and uh, yeah we're just gonna have a little peek here at the beach which we haven't touched on seaside with the beach well look at this beach looks lovely and clean don't know its actual rating or anything but Let's take a look at that Costa del Sol Shields Yeah. But yeah, hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please like the video, please subscribe to the channel. Lots more videos coming this summer. Uh, and as I say, just to summarize, South Shields, great day out for a family. Plenty to do. You've got the uh, fun fair, you've got the park, you've got the seaside, you've got the amusements, and you've just got plenty to do. So yep, yeah, get yourselves here if you get the chance. And uh, again, check out myfamilyoutings.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.